shocker as Obasanjo reveals the danger in agitating for Biafran freedom. Former Nigerian President Chief Olusegun Obasanjo appears to have dropped a major controversy on the laps of those agitating for secession in Nigeria. The former president has been in the news headlines since he made a statement bordering on the issues that are currently confronting the nation. He spoke on Wednesday at the launching and investiture of Kennedy Isijola as the new Ugo State Chairman of the Nigerian Institute of Surveyor held at Olusegun Obasanjo Presidential Library at Biokuta. As guest speaker at the occasion, Obasanjo dwelled extensively on the implication of breaking away by those who are clamoring for it in the country. He insisted that he would pray and advocate for one Nigerian that a disjointed nation. For a man who had seen it all as a military man who fought tirelessly during the Piafran War to keep and maintain a united Nigerian, there could not have been a better person to give an insight into what it entails to break the nation into pieces. Obasanjo just spoke from his health wealth of experience and from his statement, three key words could be established for those who are supporting secession in the country, which they all need to take note of. The first thing is that no one will recognize or value anybody who break away from a country that is widely regarded as a giant of Africa. In other words, we are recognized and respected as an individual outside our country simply because we are Nigerians. Imagine a succeed Nigerian introducing him or herself as citizens of Odudua or Biafran Republic outside the domain. The impression can better be imagined than experienced. Nobody will want to subject himself or herself to this kind of situation and this is the reason the former president frowned at the move to break away. The second thing that can be deduced from his statement is that Nigerians should blame themselves for challenges facing the country instead of blaming it on God. According to him, majority of our problems are self-inflicted. We are the architects of our own misfortune. Hence, pulling out of the country will not bring an end to the problem, but rather, it will only make it complex. Finally, a passenger pointed out that it would be idiotic for anyone to think of secession at this time, that the African continent is aiming toward economic and political integration. So, uh, you see, my dear viewers, the issue of uh, Biafran agitation is something that many of our people in the country uh, we say that they, 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 nobody will say that he or she is not aware of the Biafran agitation. In, uh, in a, in, even in as much as uh, they try to deny us of history, and also even as they try to deny us of uh, of uh, of having an idea of uh, of of it, you understand? Is still something that we all have an idea of. So. Um, Based on what Olusegun Obasanjo is saying, he's saying, how we say that, yes, you have an idea, you have experience, you fought during the war and all of that. Now, what I would like to ask Obasanjo is this. On which side did you fight for during the war? Before I will start judging and asking you why are you not in support of Biafra? Because I can't just start saying that why are you not in support of Biafra? On whose side did you fight during the war? So we need to start asking a passenger that. A passenger fought by the side of the federal troops. Buari fought by the side of the federal troops. Gowon fought by the side of the federal troops. All these people fought by the side of the federal troops. So what are they saying? They never fought by the side of the Biafrans. They never fought by the side of the Biafrans. And I know how they massacred the Biafrans. You understand? So these people, in fact, people like Opasenjo, Buari, don't deserve any sympathy.
because they dealt with the peer friends. They dealt with the peer friends. They were among those who killed the peer friends en masse. You understand? They, they killed the peer friends. They made no sense of the peer friends. So we should not even give them a, 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 a single attention. A single attention we should not give to them because of the mess that they have put us into. Because of the mess they have put us into. So, uh, a person just saying uh, this, that uh, uh, Nigerian cannot be divided, Nigerian we must remain united and all that. He is saying it for his own good. He's saying it for his own good because he knows that from the beginning, from the beginning, he has been he has been on the on the move for one Nigerian. And the one Nigerian is what, what he has been fighting for, and one Nigerian is what he has been supporting. A passenger was among those federal troops that fought Ojuko. That fought the uh, uh, that fought the Pierre, the Pierre France that fought against Pierre France freedom. He was among them. So can you tell me that such a person will today uh, will, will later today say that he want he want to be in support of Pierre France? He will not. And besides, why he will not again is because of what of of the benefit. It's because of the benefit he is getting. As a one-time leader of this country, you don't expect Obasanjo to let go all of his remunerations and benefits that he that that he is getting as one-time leader. Or don't you know that the breaking of this country is going to deny him of so many things? It's going to deny them of so many things. That's why, no matter the situation, no matter what the people are saying, no matter what uh, the opinion of the people could be. I tell you that uh, our leaders will never and will never be in support, in support of uh, of, of any Biafra, because they know what that is going to bring to them. But then, no matter how they try, Biafra has come to stay. It has come to stay. No doubt, nobody is going to stop it. Nobody is going to stop it. Not even Buhari is going to stop it. Biafra has attained to the level he want to attain to. It has gotten to where he want to get to. So nobody is going to stop it. You understand? I know they will try, but they will not succeed. So this that Obama enjoy is saying is to suit himself and not for, to anybody. Do you understand what I'm saying? So let me hear from you from the outside to know what you have to say about this. If you are new, click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.